Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick video to let you know how to turn off the jump lists and the start menu in Windows 10. By the same occasion of course you'll be um, able to see where you can turn it on if that's a feature you want. So what's a jump list? Basically you might have noticed that when you click the start menu you have at the start button, you have the most used apps at the top. And in the most used apps, you notice that some have little arrows on the right side. That's what we call a jump list. It's there to give you a list of all the latest um, things you did with that specific app. So if it's a browser, uh, like Internet Explorer, well, if I look at it, it's going to give me a list of websites that I was going to lately with um, Internet Explorer. If it's uh, Dom Pod Player, well, it will give me a list of all the videos. Now, this list is erased because I did a little test and it does actually work well. So basically, it's there to simplify your life, give you rapid, fast access to something that you need to uh, go to. But it also can pause a risk. If you don't want people to see what you've been doing, well, here is a place where they know what you've been doing lately. Uh, maybe it's because of security. Maybe it's because of things that you go and visit on the web that you don't want other people to see, stuff like that. So you can turn this off if you want to. And you know, you make sure that the jump lists are not active at that occasion. So what do you do? You go to the notifications area on the bottom right. Here you go into all settings, go into the, notifi the uh, pers <laughs> personalization um, on the uh, top of the screen. Here on the left side you'll see start and here in start you'll see something called show recently opened items in jump lists on start or the taskbar because that also affects some of the things on the taskbar when you want to see something. So by doing, putting this at off, what it does is it not only stops that feature, but it will remove what the jump list contained. So now if I go here, start, check out Internet Explorer, you notice that all the websites are gone. All I have is the bare minimum, uh, you know, pin to start, uh, uninstall, etc. So all the websites that I visited are gone from this list. Um, every app that had information about anything I went to do is gone. And that, of course, as you've seen, works also if you had jump lists in some apps on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So that's how it works. And by the same occasion, you now know if you turned it off where you can also turn it on in the notifications and per personalizations in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, a feature about Windows that you'd like to have more information about, let us know. We'll try to post a video.